Greetings from San Diego, my badass beauties. It is Laura K, and oh my god, I literally have not done a daily dose of angels since December 13th, which was the day before I left for San Diego. I am here now, and it is so beautiful, and I have pink eye, and, <laughs> and so that's why I'm just au naturel today, which is a beautiful thing, and I am so, so grateful to be here in this new space. And so I know you wondered where I've been, and I've just been on a journey of self-discovery and some overwhelm because I just moved into, you know, a new city. I did not know how long I was going to be here. I said anywhere from two weeks to forever, and it's turning out to be <laughs> more forever than two weeks, and... So I know that I have received so many well wishes from so many of you, and I so appreciate that. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much for that. And let's just get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. So I, I, you know, I, I, I'm not sure what this is going to morph into as far as the Daily Dose of Angels is concerned. But I have different plans for the way that I communicate with the world. And so we'll just watch and see what unfolds. In the meantime, today I was guided to the Ask Your Guides deck. And the card that came up for you is Appreciation. Appreciation. Okay. So you can see there's two people on the card. And one is, it looks like they're exchanging flowers. It's brought to you by your divine helpers, and the four words that go with this card are family, collective, society, and community. So let's read about this card. Now is an important time to contemplate your place in the world. Pay attention to your influence on others and note that you're a part of a big community. Recognize your interactions with those around you and respect the fact that no matter how well you may succeed on your own, you must still depend on others in myriad ways for your comfort and security. You're aware of this every time you switch on a light and enjoy instant electricity or turn on a faucet and have clean drinking water at your disposal. Your divine helpers are present to remind you to appreciate your fellow human beings and take nothing for granted. Recognize your need for others and the unspoken gifts they share with you. Move beyond your self-interest right now and participate in a common effort. Ask yourself how you might contribute to the greater good. Your divine helper's message. Be responsible for your part in the great scheme of things. Okay, so basically this is what they're talking about. I saw a meme not too long ago and it talked about being getting I think it was like you get 10 million dollars you have to be in this house you can be with your significant other but but no one else and you don't have any internet or you know phone or whatever so in other words you'd have you know a whole buttload of money and <laughs> and you'd be with one person um, and the house looked really nice um, but you wouldn't be able to to quote unquote communicate really with anyone else. And you know, I think that that it's an interesting question for all of us to contemplate today given this message. Because the world, even though sometimes uh, other humans can bother us, you know, like say you get cut off in traffic or you know, someone cuts in front of you in line or you know someone at the restaurant screws up your order or you know I could go literally on and on and on and on and on about the way that other human beings disappoint us but what about all the various ways that other human beings enrich our lives what about the stranger that smiles at you or opens the door for you what about the kind clerk that goes out of their way to do whatever, bag your groceries or um, just send you off with a, a sweet sentiment? What about the people that are closest to you that may show their love in small ways, but 
still impact you on a daily basis. And then what about all the people that provide you service in the world so that you can go about your days? I mean, think about the people that make your clothes. Think about the people that bring the gas to the gas station so that you can go in your car and have a, you know, a, go to a great event or whatever it is. Think about um, the people that put up cell phone towers so that you can text, you know, silly gifts to your family and friends. Little things like that, that humanity is responsible for that make our lives so, so, so beautiful. It's an unending list that you can come up with if you choose to focus on that versus any of the other ways that other human beings on the planet might piss you off, okay? So it really is your choice in what you see. And this card says appreciate, appreciate. Make the list of people that have enriched your life, whether you know them or not. There are so many ways to appreciate humanity. And also, let's take it a step further. What can you do today? to enrich humanity. This card also asks you to contemplate your place in the universe and how you might enrich this planet because you're on it. So what does that mean? It could be as simple as sending a sweet text to someone that you care about. It could be as simple as thanking someone who's stocking shelves in the store. It could be as simple as smiling at someone that looks like they need a smile, complimenting a stranger. Anything that you can do to enrich humanity, just it, it, it has a ripple effect across the planet. So this message is so, so beautiful in the way that it asks you to see the universe from um, that friendly place from the place that you are taking care of and that humanity so enriches your life in so many myriad ways. And also that you contemplate your space and what you do to bring joy to the planet as well. So, until next time, my love to you.